Well, hey guys, I've got a new set of Triumph Spitfire Mark III seats and runners for the Triumph Spitfire project, so I can finally get rid of the old Mark IV seats that are currently fitted to the car that are actually a little bit worn out and replace them with these lovely new upholstered Mark III seats that I've been doing up and showing on Instagram. So anyway, let's get the old seats out and the new ones fitted. So the seat runners on this car are currently held down by nuts and bolts. It's a little bit frustrating really because originally the seat runners would just be held down by a bolt with a captive nut welded to the floor pan so you could just undo the bolt from above nice and easy. However with the nut and bolt you've got to lean underneath with the spanner to hold the nut and undo the bolt from above. Now yes I could just weld the nuts underneath to the actual floor pan and it will make life a little bit easier but I'm not too worried about that at the time being because in time I am actually going to be replacing these floor pans and silts but that's a job for another day. So when I come to install the new seat runners I'm just going to go back to how they are currently installed with a nut and bolt. The seat runners currently don't move backwards and forwards these ones very easily so I think we're going to have to employ a hammer just to help persuade them to go backwards and forwards a bit easier and a lot of that's down to all this foam and muck that's come out of the old seats just jamming up the runners. So when I've got the runners out I'm just going to go around the floor and hoover everything out and get it ready for fitting the new seat runners. With the seat runners and seats removed from the Triumph Spitfire project, it's a golden opportunity just to peel back the carpet and have a look and see what's going on with any previous repairs carried out to the floor pan. And what we can see going on here is that somebody at some point has welded in a piece of sheet steel directly over the floor pan, and that's good and bad. It's good because it's kept the car out on the road and it's got it through an MOT, but it's not ideal because originally, Floor pans are meant to be ribbed, and they're ribs for a reason, it adds strength to them. With a flat floor pan, you haven't got a lot of rigidity. So what we've got going on here is we've got a flat piece of sheet steel welded over the original crusty floor pan. It's not ideal, but it's something I'm gonna have to deal with in the future. I have got new floor pans to fit to the car, but for the time being, I'm just going to roll the carpet back up over it and deal with it at a later date. Something else I've got to do to the car is that with the original Mark III seat runners, they're actually a little bit more narrower than Mark IV and 1500 seat runners. So I've got to drill two new holes on the outside here to actually get these seat runners to work in the car. And then we can mount these in place permanently and put the seats in the car and then we'll have Mark free seats in a Mark free Spitfire.
so there we are the new seats fitted to the Triumph Spitfire project and I've got to admit it's probably not the most important thing to do to the car at the moment but I do drive this car and comfort is a kind of a bit of a priority as well so it's going to take a little while to get used to the new slightly higher seating position and I've got to say I love these bucket seats they really cushion you in over how the old Mark IV seats didn't so anyway guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video take care